If you didn't have it in the first place, you'd probably be fine because you're just used to it. But because it's been ripped out from under my feet. Won't let this moment pass us by. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Look who's here. Say hello. 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 She's here, that means that Chris is on really early. Yes. I was up about seven o'clock today. I was up before Jen, I got out of bed before Jen got out of bed. I'd already got out of bed and then I got back into bed. Just because she went to the toilet. Oh, I went from the shower. That we couldn't have. That we couldn't have. There's no water. None at all, hence the hat. I've not been able to have a shower, wash my hair. Um, Nothing. Uh, when we first got up, there was a tiny little trickle, and now nothing. Um, but we've been in contact with Seven Trent. They said the the problem is with the town, and that places in the town that are kind of like higher elevated are going to have little to no pressure, as in no water. And unfortunately, that's us. The plan for today was to go to get some coffee, have a little sit down in a coffee shop, and just chill for a Monday morning. Sort of like get into work. I'm exhausted, so I don't even know how I managed to even get up. The problem is. What if the coffee shop doesn't have water? What do I do then, Jen? Come home. Come home and have <laughs> coffee here? <laughs> hmm. Oh, better do. By the time I get there, the water pressure down there might be fine because it's at the bottom of the hill, if you will. So we might be all right. Jen says that her work doesn't seem to have a problem with water. So I'm going to try the coffee shop around the corner from her. Although it turns out that they, there's a primary school just around the corner from us that is actually closed today because there's no water. So it, it definitely seems to be affecting people further up the hill. Oh man, let's just hope there's some water in the supermarket to do me for the rest of the day. It's now lunchtime, we still don't have any water. I've had to go to the shop and pick some up. I can't do anything without water. I can't wash dishes without water, which means that I can't have anything to eat because I can't use the sink. You know, you cut something up, you have to need to wash your hands. I just can't do anything. So I'm gonna have to go out and get something for lunch. I'm thinking a treat, go to McDonald's. And I won't get too much of McDonald's. I'll make sure my calories are, are not too bad, but I'm hungry, so, so hungry. Just driven past a load of water tankers that have been trying to feed water into the main system around near us. And there's so much going on down there. When I drive past, I will try and get a look for you with the camera and you can see the mayhem that this water leak has caused. Three thirty p.m. We're finally getting a trickle of water, so I decided to let the bath run a bit, fill that up, so we can hand fill the toilet system, so we can flush the damn thing. Question is, how long will it take till we get to full pressure? Because it's it's coming out really slowly. In fact, water pours out of a bottle faster than it pours out of this tap at the moment. It's now seven o'clock, and we still do not have water. Although we did have water temporarily, as I said, but now it's gone off again. Presumably because everyone's home, everyone wants to do dinner, wash their kids that they're just no water turn it on nothing uh we got a message from the water company that said that it will be back online apparently by 10 p.m even though they last said it should be about 6 p.m we don't really have the facility to cook and clean if we don't have water so we're gonna have to go get takeout i say have to there's probably other cheaper ways but I i'm pretty stressed out i've had a shitty day Nothing crazy, just the fact that it's just all this lack of water makes things difficult. It makes everything difficult. You don't realise how difficult it is until you don't have it. If you didn't have it in the first place, you'd probably be fine because you're just used to it. But because it's been ripped out from under my feet, I don't know how to deal with it. Anyway, time for some dinner. We're going to have Thai. We like our Thai. We started getting some water, but it's not much use. <laughs> hey guys, so no makeup because I now have to go out to go and find a shower this afternoon. We still have no water. Well, we have some water now, but it's intermittent. It is far too intermittent to try and have a shower. So I am going to the gym and I feel really dirty and horrible doing it, but there's not much other option. Oh, it's a bit dark down here. I'm off to the gym to go and have a shower, which sounds 
dirty and it feels wrong and I haven't even had the sense to couple it with actually going to use the gym. I don't care about that. It's too late, I'm too full from tea so I'm just going to go have a shower. We do have some water now but it's so intermittent, it's kind of like pulsing out the tap and I can't have a shower in that, it's going to go hot and cold and hot and cold. I found out a couple of hours ago that they were doing a water drop at Sainsbury's which is really good because we've been out of water now for about 11 hours or we were at one point so I thought I'd stop along on the way to the gym and see if they've got any left and I'm absolutely amazed, they've got loads! Look at this! It's a huge amount of water and all guarded by policemen <laughs> or at least people in high vis vests. Um, so I'm gonna go pick some up. Okay, so I collected the water and now I'm off to the gym. I haven't been here for at least a week. I completely forgot to come last week. I forgot to book my Kessler size class and I didn't realise until half past seven in the morning and the class starts at seven. How glad am I that there's nobody else in here? <laughs> I have this horrible feeling that it's going to be absolutely packed with people. Presumably there are loads of people who can't have showers tonight at home and I thought they might all be here. Um, anyway, they're not. I have a whole change room to myself which is kind of like my bathroom. Um, unfortunately the showers are push button so I'm going to have to keep pushing the down button. Needs must. I won't be too bad. Oh, anyway, got my normal spot. This is my spot. All done. That was nowhere near as bad as I expected. In fact, it was quite nice. Um, the shower was steamy hot. It was absolutely lovely. And a much better pressure than we could have got at home, even on a good day. So, I know, I, know I was alone, which was nice. Um, I imagine it would have been a whole different story if there'd been other people around. All in all, quite successful. Now home to bed. <laughs> I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm going to be up at half past five. I've got to be at work by half six tomorrow morning. Kill. We've just finished watching The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Jen seemed to really like it. I quite liked it. But I do have one question that you guys may be able to answer. Why is it called The Secret Life of Walter Mitty?